hello JSP squad and welcome back to my channel it is Jasmine thank you so much for joining me again today on another video and if you are not officially a part of the JSP squad go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below the notification bell next to it so that way you won't miss another video with me so what we are going to get into today is social media planning all right so um this month I am using Amy Tangerine Planner. Now I go back and forth between Geo Dreams and Amy Tangerine. So October for social media got Amy Tangerine. So now I normally do not transform this up here. The last time I planned in it, I think I did a um I did a Teresa Collins uh, plan with me and I did go ahead and transform the whole entire page. So today, uh, that is what we will be doing again. We will attempt to change the layout. Well, not the layout, but the page. So that way, although this is not very much color, it not every one of these colors is going to go with what I'm trying to do. So I am going to go with a fall theme um, just because the weather in North Carolina is finally starting to feel fall-ish. Not, you know... It ain't 100% yet, but we are hoping that it gets there. So I think what I will do is start with the days of the week. So what I have done is that I went ahead and cut it down to size. And um, this is this is looking really um, Halloween-ish, but um, this is the only color that I had that went. So if I had gold, I would have used the gold, but I didn't have any gold. So we have the days of the week from the Brights book. And then this is obviously colorful boxes. All right, so no, I haven't broke into the new colorful boxes yet. So coming soon, definitely. So we are going to go ahead and get these covered up here. Um, want to make sure I am giving each one enough space. I think last time I had to start over here just to be sure. Let me do that because I have to, I can't be directly on that line. So in order to make sure I have everything covered up or most of it, at least. All right. And I could, I could leave that, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to. And you guys, I am so shaky today. So I worked out arms today and oh my goodness, they are so through. I was like, I don't even know how. I am going to plan today or how I'm going to do anything and my legs still hurt from yesterday and it is tough walking up and down the steps okay let me tell you it is tough walking up and down the steps all right so now that we have that down let me go ahead and try and see what I was going to attempt to do I needed to add some of these fun um, these fun fall stickers out of a new fall book so I have to I want to make sure I get the pink covered up I'm gonna lay down a sticker and hopefully I get it covered up the way that I need it to be so we're gonna put this one over here on this side because we want to make sure I want to make sure I have all of majority of that covered at the top so let me see how I can do this Maybe I can cut the sticker a little bit. Maybe we can have two leaves separately. And we could put this one here. And maybe we can put this one like here. All right. So now let's see if it works. Let me get it pulled out again. So I was going to use this one here to put up here to get this pink all covered up or at least majority of it that's okay so what we'll do is that I will go ahead and put this one down right here some of it is still showing maybe I should have put it on top instead of underneath Ugh. all right so this is what we'll do we'll get it pulled up enough All right, I ripped it. Okay, there we go. We'll get it pulled up this way without doing any further damage. 
All right, there we go. Okay, so there, and then let's put it back down, kind of the same way I just had it. Yep, there we go. All right, so there's that. Let's pull this up over here. So I definitely could have kept it together, but it's all right. I'm gonna leave it like that. So I'm not sure how that's gonna look if I put those on top like that. In the end, boy, when you make mistakes, it's all good. All right, so maybe I could take this one and maybe put it in there like that to make it look at least like it flows, I guess. I don't know. A cute October that we could put up there. Yeah, here we go. These are small. This one will do. This black one right here. But that way it's just there. All right. All right, there we go. Okay, so now let's get the rest of the days of the week down. So let me tell y'all a little story. So last week, there was actually a car accident right outside my house. Um, there's a, not a really sharp turn. They changed it so it used to be like this, like a L, and they changed it to make it a curve so that way it'd be less dangerous. But there has been so many accidents right here like that because people cut the corner short instead of going all the way around. So anyway, somebody ended up getting into a car accident. Of course, where I sit, I did know I did witness it. I did see it. And myself decided to say, yeah, just have them call it, you know, have them give me a call. It's all right. That's fine. Um, I'll help you out or whatever. I hope I really don't have to go like, I hope they don't take it to trial and I have to go testify or anything like that because I really don't want to do that. Um, I'm just saying I don't want to. But I mean, I guess if I actually had to, I would, but I really don't want to. So we'll have to see how that goes. So, but, and the one guy was actually, I'm pretty sure he was drunk. Like, I'm pretty sure, I don't know how the cop didn't notice that, but he just let him go. Like, it was nothing. And I'm like, bro, like, I know for a fact that man was drunk. He got out of the car stumbling. He got out of the car stumbling and was over to my man like, uh, 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 what happened? I don't even know. I, I shifted into the other lane. I couldn't get my foot on the brake. Yeah, we know that. That's because you were drunk. You shouldn't be drinking and driving. So just causing dangerous. I'm so glad there was no kids out there. On that same corner, I have a neighbor that um, she has her kids playing outside right there a lot. And, you know, if her kids were out there because they ride their bikes up and down the street, they could have been hit, you know? But, of course, people don't think about that. People just don't think about that. I know y'all like Jasmine, you have a habit of doing your... Going down at an angle. I do. I like it like that. Y'all don't like it like that? I do. I like when I kind of slant it to the side. I guess because it gives different dimensions and then I can place like different boxes in different places. So I don't know, I like that. I like it, I like it. All right, so, and I also have the rainbow book. We're just gonna stay on this page for now. I have the rainbow book and I wanna use a few of these colors out of here. So there's like orange, um, maybe some different dimensions. I think I'll use, I probably should just stick with the, the light orange. Um, but there's like, yeah, some different dimensions that we can use to make it you know, cute and all. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of these down because I like them. I like that orange color, because it's cute. And then we're gonna add some other cute stuff to this as well. Um, so yeah, in this book, it's got like oranges, the greens, blues. Um, there's like a burgundy-ish color. It's not like super burgundy, just burgundy-ish, but it works. So I think I'm gonna put this one in here, but either way it goes, it's gonna look like that, right? Yeah, it's gonna be that diamond shape. Oh, but that doesn't, so we can kind of put this anywhere. 
I'm mad that. See, that's what I'm saying. Like these stickers, these new stickers are super sticky. And they will tear up a page. All right, I guess we'll do that then. All right, so I like that there. And then let's go in with a circle. Let's see if we can find like this color right here in a circle. In a circle, in a circle. Mm, mm, mm. Here we go, in a circle. Yep, we're gonna put it right down here. And voila, beautiful. Okay, now let's go back into the wrong, wrong book and put some of these icons down that they have in here that are cute. I think we'll add a girl or two. I think I want to take these little cats, maybe set them over here. They're just going to be hanging out. And one of these. Okay, should I put her down here? She's like really matching with this stuff down here. She is super cute down here. Let me see if I can't find something else to put with her. I think we'll do her right here. We'll do her right here. And we're gonna put her right there in the middle. And I'm gonna take this, put it right over the top of her. Okay, and then up here, we're gonna use this, I don't do hot tea, but we're gonna do hot tea right here. And one of these hats. Okay. And then maybe I need something up here. These flowers, these leaves. We'll give it a good look. All right. All right, these leaves will give it a good look. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that that is done, let's see. So let's move on. Jeez. Whew. Okay. Let's move on. All right. So we'll get that. We'll probably pull that back out in a minute. But is this the big? Yeah. All right. So let's get our these down again. So we will start with the orange. Put it up here up top. black I almost put that in the wrong spot so what else has happened lately you guys did I tell you I took my husband to scare winds <laughs> I did we're so old okay and I say that because we we oh my goodness let me tell you our bodies hurt so bad from the walking around at scare winds, I thought I was never going to feel better. That's probably why I probably haven't even recuperated yet still from that trip. And, but I just have to say that it was such a good time and that we don't really get that much time together because we're always, um, he's always working or tired or whatever. Um, but it's, it's hard to, it's hard to line up a date night because we got to get a babysitter for all of our hundred kids and um, and just be able to actually go and do something. So we were able to go do that. And I wish we would have been able to do it later on in the month. But, you know, we have to take our chances when we can. But it was such a good time. We had such a fun time. It was amazing. And we were able to get on a few things. But the lines were absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know why the lines were so long. And people had 
their kids out there. And I was like, oh my goodness. And now, now I say kids as in when I was growing up, and Carowinds apparently has been around for 20 years. I had no idea. Um, but when I when we first went to Carowinds, that first year that it opened, children were not allowed at Scarewinds unless you were 12 and older. But they had babies out there. Those people had their little two, three, four-year-olds out there. Um, and I was just thrown all the way off. I was shocked, okay? I was so shocked. I could not even believe it. I was like, why do y'all have y'all's kids out here like this? And, you know, the kids would be screaming bloody murder because they did not want to go into the, um, they did not want to go into the haunted houses and the parents just really didn't even care. And I just felt so bad for them. I was like, oh man, that's so sad. Cause they ain't care. They was like, oh no, you're going to go in this haunted house today. And they were just screaming. It was so sad. But, oh well. They weren't my kids. I couldn't do nothing about it. And I can't tell people how to raise their kids and how, you know, don't take your kid in there. I can't do that. So, you know, it was basically you just had to be on the sideline watching it happen. It was just sad. But, and then I kept telling my husband, I was like, no, the kids were not allowed out here when it first opened. Kids were not allowed out here when it first opened. And he kept saying, no, I think they were. And I was like, no, bro, they really weren't. They were not allowed out here when it first opened. They were not allowed to go in. And now I guess it just doesn't even matter. Guess it just doesn't even matter. All right, so we'll put the circle right here. And let's get a, I don't even know what that is, two, four, hexagon. Let's get a hexagon and what color are we getting the hexagon in? Maybe we should do a yellow. Can we do a yellow? No, I can't really do a yellow. There's really no yellows right there. I don't know which color. We could do a yellow. It's like a mustard yellow. I think we can get away with that. Yeah, definitely. Let's do it over here on this side. Over this way. All right. So there we go. Now let's get this side over here with a little bit of decoration on it. I think I'm gonna do my homegirls that we saw in this book. Was it in this book? No, it was not. It was not in that book. Hmm. Gotta find some stuff that sticks out that's super cute. I love these greens. They're so pretty. And then they just make the page look so great. Let's put one there and then let's take a rose gold one and stick it on this side, probably over this leaf. We'll just do a smaller one right here over it. Oh, look at that. All right, and then oh, I will always forget, I always do that because I'm using gold, but that rose gold is it gets me every time. I always forget that I've used gold already, it's just so pretty. All right, let's put a coffee cup. Coffee cup and a hat down here. Let's do a coffee cup and let's do a brown hat. And there's some confetti at. Is there confetti in here? Hmm, no, yes, yes, some confetti right here.
confetti. All right, there we go. I think I will use this though, this Autumn Moments. And I'm gonna put it down here on the Sunday. Actually, I will use this one right here because on, now this doesn't have any relevance, but we will be going to the pumpkin patch on this day. So I'm gonna put that down right there. And then I kinda wanna use these hexagons. So I'm gonna use, no, these are, I don't know. These are not hexagons. Getting spooky, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to spooky time. So I think I will use this one. Get it right there. All right, and then let's see. And I wanna use some of these hearts to just add to this area right here, make it a little bit more decorative. All right, let's get this down. And then we have this one right here. Oh, huh? super cute. Okay, so here we are, finally we're done. All right, we're gonna put this down. This is out of the fall book still. And then I think I'll use the this um, burgundy focus on. I'm gonna put that right there. And there we are. All right, so that really didn't need to be shown, but whatever. All right, so here we are. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below, the notification bell next to it, and I will see you in the next video.